First tonight, the Edmondson community is mourning the loss of Deontay Dorsey. 16 year old was killed in that mass shooting at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center yesterday. WMAR 2 News Jeff Morgan live for us tonight at the shopping center this evening. Jeff, what is the family telling us tonight? Well, Jamie, the family is asking that the community join together in getting justice for Deontay. They're also hoping to hold police and city leaders accountable. A few hundred feet from where he was shot and killed, Deontay Dorsey's family gathered. The family's attorney said they were too distraught to speak publicly, though Dorsey's aunt gave a few words. Today I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for, the, for all the prayers. Thank you for all the encouraging words that have been sent out to our family. You could see the pain on the family's faces as their attorney spoke about Deontay. He was a sweet boy. He worked hard, didn't get in trouble. He loved his brothers and sisters. He loved his family. Attorney Theru Vignaraja took the chance to call on Baltimore police to solve this crime, adding that the deadly mass shooting might get more attention in different parts of the city. Because if this murder had happened in a different part of town, they'd assign three detectives who'd work around the clock and collect as many overtime hours as they need to solve this case. Members from the Edmondson Village Community Association showed up to offer their support. Monique Washington called for a change at the shopping center, a place Vignaraja calls an open-air drug market. She specifically wants the businesses to stop selling to young people during the school day. But something needs to be done. We do not, in the Emerson Village area or any part of Baltimore City, want to lose another child to crime that should not be here. The family said they haven't been given an update on the investigation, adding they don't know who committed the crime. So what are the next steps, Jess, for the family? We see through Vak Vignaraja there, an attorney. What's going to go next? Well, Kelly, they say that they're going to continue that push for justice for Deontay, hopefully getting some uh, good news here in the next few days that someone has been arrested would be their goal. And uh, their attorney says that we may actually hear more from the family in the coming days. All right, Jeff Morgan, thanks for that live report for us tonight.